So here we are now in the engine room, and this is the 12 kilowatt Northern Lights generator in the sound box. Uh, it's a three cylinder, beautifully engineered generators, these super quiet, super smooth. So, um, yes, that's a great addition to the boat. Uh, over here, you can see the engine start battery and the distribution panel for the selector switches. The top switch is to parallel with the main bank, then the main engine, wing engine, and then the generator. Inside, there's also a solenoid for paralleling the two big banks together from the wheelhouse in case you have uh, low cranking and this is the Volvo three-cylinder 2000 series super low hours on this thing uh, she's on a V drive with a feathering prop but uh, had the gearbox off and put all new seals and checked it all out and everything so it's uh, really good shape down here is the propeller shaft and the stuffing box all new rubber a brand new shaft we had made had some pitting on it so I just want to make sure the drivetrain was right so all new stuff there too and as you can see the whole engine bay is panelled out in white aluminum panelling it was very dark in here before with kind of a mesh and you could see the aluminum foil through it it looked pretty pretty rough so um, the whole engine room was gutted and whole new panelling put in throughout and also you can see the cable tray in the overhead for running wires and stuff it's all being powder coated, keep it all nice. And here's the dry stack exhaust for the main engine. This is the John Deere 6414, I think she's 140 horsepower. Also the transmission was removed and rebuilt over at uh, Transmission Marine here in Fort Lauderdale. Engine also was pulled out and gone through at the workshop. But um, great engines, these John Deere's. And uh, new wiring and control box was put in as well. It's inside the box. And we also put in a switch here so you can turn the ignition on and actually start the engine from down here as well as in the wheelhouse. So if you just want to crank the engine to prime the fuel or whatever, or um, just to start it from here, you can do it without having somebody else or running up and down the steps all the time. And over there is the NIAD stabilizer control panel and uh, tank that used to be in the master cabin under the vanity unit but we relocated here make it much easier to uh, work on and just better have everything in the engine room so um, that's also that was an addition that wasn't original so um, that has pretty low hours on it too and over here you can see the the access door that's in the master cabin shower so you can come into the engine room without lifting all the floor panels up if you're underway and also these Nordhavens they hold approximately thousand gallons of fuel in four fuel tanks you can see the side glasses um, there's actually 800 gallons of fuel on board right now in the four tanks when we were refurbishing the engine room here we found a huge space on top of this uh, port forward fuel tank so I decided to make it into a storage locker so um, just have to put a, a little door or a hinge door on there to slide all your engine room spares and stuff like that in there so as you can see a great little layout you can get to pretty much everything and at the moment you can start all all three engines from the wheelhouse and with really not too much work the boat could be driven away to wherever and the other thing I did too as you can just quite see it there's a ventilation fan I increased the size of the ducting and everything so it's about three times the amount of air comes in here now it was very weak before but now you can really feel the air coming in which is nice so yeah so there you have it the engine room.